Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Let's Play Victoria 2 is Brazil. So the liberals completely destroyed the country last episode. We can nationalize the industry. Yes, do that. Nationalize everything. I need to get people working. People need to be working right now. Also, how's the world war going, by the way? I mean, yeah, Germany's winning by a landslide, obviously. Because Germany's just occupying and destroying the Aust and just killing the Austrians. They want to cut the United States down the size. They want reparations. Advanced the construction. Humiliate the United States. Great war capitulation. This might actually destroy the U.S. So, I mean, I'm curious to see how that'll kind of go for them. Okay, I want to look at sphere of influence right now. So far, nobody has actually brought any of our former, um, former countries into their sphere. Okay, we're once again back in 8th place. Once again, we're back in 8th place. But we have no machine tools at all. Which is not a surprise. Because, I mean... Major world wars usually lead to... Infiltration, digging cap. Let's go, like, military logistics. Actually, well, we should be. We should be getting our way to military direction as quickly as possible to get gas attack and defense. Okay, we've got another core. Again, all eventually all of Uruguay will be uh, cores of ours. Keep on upgrading factories. Please and thank you. Okay, so these factories, once they upgrade, they should be good. Shadow of War. Yeah, let's we'll ally with the UK. Me and the UK are now friends. UK, are you at war? You're not worth Russia. Why? This is a completely separate war. You want to force the Russians to dismantle their empire. You want Eastern Transylvania. Paraguay and Argentina are at war. Who are you at war with? I will probably back Argentina. Against Paraguay. Oh, so there's actually a... Is this a communist? Yeah. I'll send some units in. I'm not too worried about what Paraguay is going to do. They have a 12 stack. I mean, I will, we'll throw up the military budget at least a little bit. Shadow of War. Do we want to ally with the Italians? Italy is allied with Germany, France. They're worth the United States. I'm going to say no. I'll say yes to Britain. I'm going to say no to the, uh, the Italians. They don't want to go to war with the U.S. Doesn't seem beneficial to me. And you want... Yeah, you want to force Russia to dismantle their empire. I don't know how well you can actually get that done. I mean, Russia's invaded their way into India. I mean, it'll, it'll be interesting. Let's just put it that way. Also, is this Finland's flag? You know, that's a nice-looking flag. I like that flag. I mean, I know, again, we're... we're low on organization. Oh, we're actually just, just going to win this fight outright anyways. There's five war score for us. I mean, again, we haven't really been at war too often. Upgrade more factories. Again, these are getting built up. You'll see, I guess railroads also are something that we kind of have to think about. Maybe our capitalists, they, they can right now just build the railroads. Is that all the wars for? Is this one territory? I mean, yeah. So, you know, we'll, we'll proceed with that. Pull our units out of the country. Argentina got a little bit of land. They still want to claim... Again, I don't want to ally with the Germans either. You want me to go to war against Russia? Ah, fuck it. Why not? We're at war with Russia and Serbia. Maybe this, so this basically will, you know, a little boost for international prestige. Let's, let's think about it like that. I'm not really worried about the Russians actually navally invading us. Or at least I hope I don't need to be worried about that. Okay, war's upon us. Serbia's not a secondary power. I was thinking... Communist riot. Again, I'm, I kind of... I'm, I wouldn't mind the communists taking over. Just so the liberals never have a chance to take over again. Top military spending at least a little bit. I mean, I know we're, we're losing a little bit of money, but... For now, we should be okay. And again, once our industry is back on track... You want to dismantle... You want to force the U.S. to dismantle their empire. 
I mean, I, I would love to see the United States completely collapse. That would definitely be beneficial to us. Okay, once again, we're going to upgrade every factory we can. I know we don't really have the money to do so. But now that one, now once again, the people are working. Okay, these factories are being upgraded. This will be enough to kind of fulfill all of their needs. We should, in theory... Again, look, at the, we're actually in 7th place right now. And I'm hoping by completely bolstering ideology for the liberals, like how... Or for the conservatives, I should say. Yeah, 4%. I mean, we probably actually... Let, let's go getting more states conservative. I want the entire country to be incredibly conservative. So that next time, there is no chance in hell the liberals can win. I want, I want the, I want the voting rigged. Okay, I'm hoping that, I'm hoping that's not asking too much. Tayros are fine. Are we? Are we technically? We're in the British sphere of influence. I was like, why are we making like no money anymore? It's because we we lost. It's because we're technically a British sphere link. That'll change once we are no longer in. Um, once we become a great power, we, this this will fix itself. Peru is now in the Italian sphere of influence. Ecuador is in the British. We we have a long way to come in order to uh, get back our station. Because your secondary power, your great power, you're in twenty first place, which is kind of incredible. Italy. Okay, Russia actually did win a war against Japan. Somehow Britain is losing terribly against the Russians. I'm not happy with that. Yeah, they're actually losing really badly. What if what if Russia forces Britain to uh, dissolve their empire? That'd be kind. Of, that would be interesting. I'd be interested to see that happen. But I also want to become a great power. We should be soon. Because what? What are you in? You're in ninth place. But actually, no. Because you're at war, you can't lose great power status when you're at war, if I remember correctly. So we. we so maybe. So until this war is actually over, which the United States should agree to surrender. I mean, at negative seventy-seven percent. Like at some point, you've got to. They, they've got to spend it eventually, right? Like, as soon as that war's over, me and the Dutch should immediately jump into great power status. Okay, everything at least is okay. Again, we're seventh in industry. It's amazing that we go from like 25th to 7th in industry, just depending on who's in charge of the government. Okay, so we got the. Uh, e actually, Egypt's over here, really. In Egypt, they are a... I mean, they're a civilized nation, so they shouldn't get annexed by... Also, Ethiopia declared independence from Italy. Which I would be very embarrassed about if I was the Italians here. You're occupied. Are we at war with anybody in Africa? No, again, it's really just Russia we're at war with. I don't know if Russia can even move units. Through Serbia? Romania, I should say. I mean, Austria surrendered. No, actually, they didn't surrender because Romania didn't get their land. So genuinely, I don't actually know. Did Germany invade the United States? I'm assuming no. They have 552 divisions. Germany has 652. Italy's at 116. And you just want to humiliate the UK. The UK might just surrender. They might take the humiliation. They did. Okay. They got humiliated a little bit, but it's not that bad. You're going to demobilize. We're no longer at war. So that'll, you know, fix our economy at least a little bit. Okay, we're no longer at war. We get more immigrants. We have cash. The war's over. Fantastic. I mean, we didn't send a single troop over there to help out. Got military costs a little bit more. Again, we just need the Italian, German, American war to end. And then we can once again become a great power. Please, Austria. I'm ba I'm I mean I guess it's not Austria that has to surrender. It's it's the uh It's the Americans that have to surrender. 
This might end up turning into a war that lasts like a thousand years. And you're friendly with the United States, you're friendly with Russia. I'm not too sure what will happen when we become a great power. I don't know what our relationship will be with all of these other uh, countries that used to be in our sphere. I don't remember if we get knocked down to... Um, I'm not allied with the Germans. Are you absolutely out of your goddamn mind? I don't think it'll... It's not going to help us end this war any faster. Italy wants territory. Spain, Bulgaria, and United Arab Emirates have also joined the war on, on Germany's side. Has anyone joined the Americans? No. no, Nobody has joined the United States. Austria, I mean, look at this. They're in, they're in 51st place. Like, once Austria is pieced out, their country is going to completely fall apart due to rebellions. Like, war exhaustion is, I'm certainly at 100%, yes. Austria has also declared war on Nejd. Just, just for the fun of it. I, I don't know really what they're... I mean, I guess they were in their sphere of influence, but... You know, fucking good luck with that one. Okay, we're no longer in the... Okay, we're no longer in the British sphere of influence, which means we're going to be getting a little bit more money from our tariffs. And actually, I can cut tariffs down a little bit, because the reason tariffs were so high... Or industry subsidies were so high, probably because we were in the British sphere as well. I mean... I mean, if subsidies are so low... Which I'm actually surprised they're as low as they are. Why actually, why are they so low? I mean, they, it must mean that they're all very profitable. In some regard. Or at least they're not super poor. And we need more machine parts. Machine parts are getting, you know, used up in the, in the war against with Germany and America. I don't think they're ever going to surrender. In their daily, negative 0.6, plus 0.25. I genuinely think all of, uh, all the United States might need to be... Again, I mean, Germany can't land units here. Because naval warfare and naval uh, invasions in Victoria 2 are absolutely terrible. Why does Japan own Alaska? I, I, I just saw this now. <laughs> okay, so again, you guys are... I mean, you're, you're in secondary area of power. You could become a great power eventually. Also, you guys are now losing support. Okay, so if you don't remain... If you don't keep the... Uh, the loyalty here, they do eventually drop down. Okay, that's good to know. I'm guessing you're you're actually led by the Republican Party. I was gonna say, like, so much of your country is conservative. But I'm surprised that you are currently led by the liberals. Please end your war. P please, please end your war. What if we do occupy all USA? Occupy. I don't remember what the command was. There's an occupy all. I, I genuinely don't know. I, I was trying to get a way to make the United States end their war. I mean, you're at 20%, but Lombardy and Venezia are also getting a war score there added as well. Oh, no, it's not occupy all. It's conquer all, isn't it? Let me try that. Uh, conquer all USA. Oh, because it has to be all capitals, right? USA. This should automatically, like, lose its position. Shh, don't, don't let anybody know I, I've done this. Conquer. Conquer all USA. Tag Brazil. Tag BRZ. Let nobody know what's happened here. I just want that war to end. Essentially is what I'm getting at. I just want the war over. If you have a problem with that, I would understand, but... The United States should now... Surrender. We're now a great power, like I said. Because Italy has lost their position. The Dutch also should become a great power immediately. They have. 
So the war has ended. The humiliated United States dismantled construction Liberia, demand reparations, cut the United States down to size, forced the United States to dismantle their empire, acquired Lombardia, acquired Venezia, dismantled construction in Bosnia, and seven times great war capitulation. So it is now our time. Also, let's see, where do we actually get put in here? We're back down to neutral, which is very annoying. Are we neutral with everybody? Yes. So let's drop all of our points here. And what I think what we want to do, Argentina, they're 99% with the United States. Are they? Are we at neutral with them? But actually, we're still cordial with the United, with, uh, with, um, with Mexico, so that's nice. So I'm going to get you three. Chile, Bolivia, Argentina as being our first, uh, uh, first countries here. Also, we can now do the treaty with Colombia, which is giving me a little chunk of territory. I mean, 11,000 more people in our country. I won't say no to that. Factories are being upgraded. The United States has been forced to dismantle their empire. I'm not too sure exactly what it'll do. Even though they have no military score and no prestige anymore, they still got 2,000. They still have 2,000. Even, even now, they still actually have 1,500 points in their um, <laughs> in industry. But Texas has gained independence. California has gained independence. And uh, New England have also gained, which also is called... Uh, I did not change that one, though, from the Grand Campaign. So it's it says United States of America, but in French. Just just ignore that. Just just ignore that for now, please. And thank you. Um, aside from that, you're still a war with Nejd. There's no way in hell you're not going to have a trillion rebellions. Austro-Hungary should completely collapse very, very soon. And then aside from that, again, we're a great power here. I have yeah, I have the no war uh, no more war costs belly. And Italy wants to take over this territory from France. Can they do is this not a great I guess it's not a great war because Italy's not a great power. Russia is winning fairly convincingly right now. If Italy were to become a great power, I mean they're in ninth place, 560. The Dutch have I mean okay, the Dutch have 750. I was going to say, like, maybe they could, it could become a great war, but at this point, probably not. Okay, Argentina, we can get you up to Cordial. I'm assuming you're in the American sphere. You're very clear, 99.5 with them. Peru is also now in the German sphere. I mean, why not? I mean, it makes sense to me. Indirect artillery fire. I think they probably did they um discredit us yes okay well, that's not a big deal okay chile i'm gonna get you up to cordial is anybody else trying to influence you i mean you got united states but really that's about it let's get our points here united states works auction that 50 percent i don't think america is going to completely collapse like, I'm sure they'll actually probably reintegrate all this territory again. It's not actually that hard. They just need to actually occupy... Or not occupy, just fear these countries. They should rejoin peacefully. Also, can we get more units? I mean, not really. Not really right now. Also, when's our next election? November 17th. Oh, okay, so like in one month from now, we're going to have another election. You guys are looking all pretty good. Austria, I don't know how you haven't collapsed yet. How many? You have two divisions? I mean, I know. Where, where does where does Milton see actually show up in this list? Can you see militancy off this? Maybe not, actually. But I'm assuming it's not looking great. Okay, I'm going to increase the opinion of you. Bolivia has a bunch of socialists. I'm going to increase the opinion of you. Do I want to put units into the country? I think I do. Let's put a 35 stack into Lepez, which should be your capital. As long as the capital doesn't fall, we should be okay for Bolivia. Or 
organization's gone up a little bit as well. I mean, again, you're never going to win a war against... I mean, you're both basically... I guess you're not landlocked, but you're landlocked. I don't think Austria could even actually move a unit over to them, even if they wanted to. And at some point... Actually, no, Revolt Risk is in here. But it only shows my own country. Okay, never mind. That's, that's less useful than I thought. I need to actually retreat because I need to actually put money into the military. Peru has had a... They've, they've gone anarcho-capitalist. They're now a bourgeois dictatorship. Yeah, make sure you pay your soldiers uh, before you send them into battle. Five prestige. Thank you. Thank you. Get a few reinforcement takes here. Actually, this, this probably would be the, the right situation where I want a reinforcement bonus. The factories are still looking good. Let's build railroads across the country. You know, just to kind of like wherever we can. Can I build railroads here? Right now, no, I cannot. Okay, Bolivia, let's bring you... Oh, we can actually put you in as here now. Fantastic. So there's step one. Argentina's in the sphere of the United States. Did you... You did fall the rebellion, but you're still okay. Okay, let's, let's pull our units out. So America. Also, oh, the only... Okay, no, you still have Washington. You're in fourth place. You're back up to eighth place in terms of military power. You're even sphering, like, random countries in Africa for some reason. I'm really not even too sure why you're doing that. Still can't justify a war against you, Chile. Get you into my sphere as well. Fantastic. So now... Paraguay doesn't like us. Understandable. I guess we got Peru next. They're opposed to us, but that, that's fine. They, they can be a bourgeois dictatorship. By far the worst government type in the game. Do ne never go bourgeois dictatorship. It's just the liberals, but you cannot get rid of them. <laughs> so it's, it's just bad in, in every regard. But I do think, at least for right now, it's going to be a good time for us to win this episode. Thanks everybody for watching. My name is Anthony. If you enjoyed, my thumbs up. Not do it, click thumbs down. You want to see more, subscribe, and goodbye.